The National Weather Service Tulsa and Greensite, a company out of Boston, signed a one year research agreement to do drone research near Tulsa. Now, these uncrewed aircraft systems, known as weather hives, will be used to measure the atmospheric conditions in the boundary layer to help aid in weather forecasting and research. Now, each weather hive has 10 nano drones called WISPs. They're going to be measuring the temperature, the humidity, barometric pressure, and then the wind speed and the direction. And these nano drones weigh less than half a pound and they can fit in the palm of your hand. So it's very small technology. And the goal is for Greensite to come to Oklahoma to deploy these nano drones over five Oklahoma Mesonet weather stations. Now these weather stations provide weather forecasters with more frequent and up-to-date information since there's at least one in every Oklahoma County with what, 120 of them in total. Now this partnership with Greensite is huge for Tulsa, but there's even more drone research happening with local universities. Lead meteorologist in charge Stephen Pilts at the National Weather Service office in Tulsa has more information about some of those partnerships. In addition to the agreement that we have with the company in Boston, we also received an $800,000 grant from NOAA to combine the talents of Oklahoma State University and Virginia Tech. Oklahoma State University is developing the flight platform and verifying the sensors. Virginia Tech is trying to design the detect and avoid system and they're going to try to marry all that together. Now the goal with the drone research is to get the drones 9 to 10,000 feet in the air to sample the atmosphere. But that requires a lot of work and clearance from the FAA. So even just getting 1 to 2,000 feet could be a game changer for research purposes. And having weather drones available to sample the atmosphere before severe weather days when we're talking about tornadoes or wind threats, or even days that we're just talking about ice or snow could be extremely beneficial to meteorologists. And again, the meteorologist in charge of the National Weather Service office in Tulsa, Steve Pilts, talks about how weather drone research could potentially save lives for nights like the Claremore tornado. Well, I think the drones and that ability to stay in the air a lot or at least fly every hour would really be a game changer during a lot of hazardous weather events. I think of the, the, the night of the Claremore tornado where as meteorologists we were all looking at the low level environment and a lot of model data said the moisture had gotten too thin, maybe the storms wouldn't be bad as they got into Tulsa and onto the east. One or two drone flights in or around Tulsa that evening would have answered that question. And we, instead of going for, we think this looks bad, we're really concerned about it, we could have changed that language to say we, we are confident that the environment is, is going to support a dangerous situation here. So it will change the way we talk to the public if we can see that data. Greensite will be coming to town in Tulsa to partner with Tulsa in the field research in August. And their goal is to fly their nano drones continuously for 12 hours and to also fly one mission at night. Now the night mission hopes to accomplish seeing how the atmosphere changes from sunset to sunrise. And OSU will also be hosting the International Society for Atmospheric Research using remotely piloted aircrafts in September. So a lot to look forward to. And for more information about nano drone research, you can find this story on our website. Back to you.